Hello everybody, Seth here again with another Loop Hero run. And today it's time to go back to our roots. <laughs> First of all, let's go over the supply. So HP, Vampirism, uh, Alchemy Shelf, the Bunch, Kitchen Knives, Mixed Nuts and some damage to the boss. Okay, so we got the basics down. I think I should drop maybe some Vampirism just to get the Alchemy Shelf. I don't think it really make that much of a difference. How much vampirism do we have? 50%. Mm. Yeah, 50% is okay. I mean, we are really strong, but there, there on this time will be a bit on the not so smart side. So these are the ones I am going to use. I actually am between ruins and cemetery. I think ruins are more rare. So let's start from the bottom up. <laughs> As you see, there is I don't I haven't made any good choices. The reason being is because this is a slime run. <laughs> Chrono crystals to spawn more slimes, bookeries to switch my cards around into Chrono crystals, and I guess uh, I, I I actually would not really like to use them. But what can I use here? Road lanterns maybe. So yeah, I'm going with the bookeries. Just so that I can recycle some cards. Oblivion to delete the trash. Meadow and suburb herbs. You know, meadow I will I will use very little in the middle. And then suburb herbs for the rest. Everywhere mean, meaning everywhere. Zero milestone because why not? I mean I'm definitely not, not going to use maze of memories. Arsenal either. I don't want retaliation damage. I don't care about it. And ancestral crypt. Uh, Definitely not a good choice. So yeah, the, maybe I will play some villages, but I got a plan about the bookeries anyway. My plan is to play the bookery in the starting zone, so and surround it with villages, so that I yeah, you will see. Th there are some plans here. I I got some plans. I will go with the warrior. The whole idea here is that I should have almost infinite HP uh, to be able to tank <laughs> the bosses. So, uh, th there's no real reason to delay here in the beginning. Let's start placing these down right away. Let's place the zero milestone over here. <laughs> uh, as far away as possible. These are 33. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, wait, 33 is, let's say, 32. So, that would be 16. Uh, this is 10, 11, 12. My mind blanked out. 13, 14, 15, 16. So this should be the middle, I think. Let's hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> the reason I'm placing them as far away as possible from the middle is because if I get... Not if. When I get villages, I will try to place them down in this area. And the meadows are here just to be placed in the middle. <laughs> Because I cannot place the suburbs in the middle. For anybody new, I know they are called suburbs. Let's continue looping. This is times two. I maybe should have even put it to times three because this will take a lot of time. I'm not going to play the ruins. This should be one shot. It's not one shot. Wasn't this supposed to be weaker? 6.89. 7.27. Okay, it is weaker. And a life? 29. Will the next one have even lesser life? Even less life? Third, yes. Even more, I meant. I meant more. Let's get the counter. Uh, there's no real reason to delay here. <laughs> I'm just doing it for the fun of it. Um, I mean, yeah, might as well, right? I would like to get the region, something region related here. As you see, the archers are one-shotting everything. Let's get some more slimes in. That's why I will have book crease in the beginning. And I will try to place some uh, villages next to them so that I cannot get any enemies spawned there. So I will place this here now. And then I will not place the next one. 
Because I, I until I get an oblivion. I'm not equipping my weapon because they are slimes. <laughs> Let's get time flies faster. And we are done with the meadows. That was it. No more meadows to be placed. Uh, I could have gone with other cards. Uh, I think the, the lowest chance to drop is the river between all. And then the second lowest is the meadow. Uh, the reason I picked the meadow instead of the river is because I cannot place the river and I wanted to, you know, fill the middle. Why not fill the middle? Obviously, mountains and dunes and deserts or whatever and thickets have more of a chance to spawn because they are two cards and you can... The one, each card has its own chance to spawn, so that would be the worst choice. Okay, let's go with suburbs and let's continue. This bookery is the same as this one. Okay, we continue with suburbs. I will not play the village until I get an oblivion, as I said. Let's uh, let's continue this thing. On the next loop, I will equip a weapon. Okay, we got an Oblivion. Time to play the village. Uh, let's play this village here, actually. Because this whole area here will get uh, trashed from the Lich. And there it will later on be safer to play villages near there. I don't even know if that makes sense or if it's a good idea. But we will see. As you can see, we are returning to our roots. <laughs> Act 4, Slime Run. Let's continue with the Chrono Crystals. To have slimes everywhere. The problem with the Slime Run, mostly, is that if you're in a fight or not in a fight, it's practically the same thing. The only thing you care about is... Okay, we got our 58 from Prism here. The only thing you care about is just the time passing. Should I min-max this? Or should I make it trolly? You know what? Let's make it trolly. Let's go. Let's let's for once uh, let the dice roll here. And if we lose, we lose. I will try to uh, rush through this thing as fast as possible. Uh, let's play this. I think it's safe here. Should be able to spawn the Lich fast enough. Let's get the potions, have a chance to not get drunk, I guess. And here has a summon a blood and lightning chance. Ooh, very nice. Let's get this. This is pretty much true damage. So I will have 100% true damage. Just to be sure that I will always be able to do some damage to the enemies. It doesn't, you see, it doesn't do the, it, it doesn't boost the damage. It's the same. Either, it's either 17 or 20 if I don't, if, if the, the lightning doesn't proc. Even if it was a damage boost, why am I explaining this? <laughs> I mean, if it was a damage boost, I obviously would have picked it up. Uh, let's continue with this here. Okay, that just starts trashing things now. So these do not spawn and oh yeah these do not spawn anything so every single bookery is safe right now. When I mean safe I mean that I do not want to fight books because that would be against the run. Um I can place this village. Yep, oblivion time. I can also place this chrono crystal. Uh, here would be the most coverage. Let's continue with the suburbs. And let's see how we fare against the Lich at loop 5. How is it possible? Time to settle this. Okay, this fight will be easy. 
But from the next one on, things should start going out of control. Hopefully. I know what passive I would like to get. Let's see if we get it. I'm not spoiling what I want. <laughs> There's one passive which is broken the warrior. Not since it's possible for some reason. I don't understand. Yep, next time. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, game. Give me my suburbs. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Uh, we are not done with the chronos. So let's place them here. I I can place one more village. So, one, two, three, four. We are mostly done with the village placements. Actually, let's continue here. Let's start getting better weapons. Now we go off to the inf now we go off to the to the trolley side of things because I will not try to hesitate getting buffed up. I will straight up equip whatever is best and go through these slimes as fast as possible. I want to loop a bunch of times and fight the bosses in high level loops. <laughs> there is a chance we will lose at Omega, but who cares? We beat Omega on the last run. And on the one before that, and on the one before that as well. Uh, let's pick this up. This is not the, the one I want, but it's a good one. Uh, I would like to place a Chrono. No, there's... I think I'm done with the Chronos. Yep, I'm done with the Chronos. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got another Oblivion. Uh, it's time to delete some trash, I guess. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's delete some trash. I'd like to get a Bokri now. And a village after that. Oh, you know what? I will play some Kronos while I'm doing it. Let's play Kronos here. I will start using the Kronos to block out the villages. So that the villages do not spawn um, bandits. Because that would invalidate the run. Let's continue with suburbs. Uh, I will place the village because I have the oblivion. And now I'm buffing the slimes. Let's place the bookery here as I wanted. And I got another bookery, very nice. So right now these bookeries pretty much cannot spawn enemies. Nice, we got an oblivion, although I think it's useless. Uh, I can delete trash, I guess. This dangerous trash to delete. This is also pretty okay right now. Let's delete this back line here. Uh, still didn't get it. Let's get the chest. The chest is a very good thing that we could get because we will need to have some kind of way to getting high level items. The one way is the villages and the other way is the chests. And now that we got the chests, we are pretty much set. I mean, we were set from the get-go because I have the villages. <laughs> But uh, I think it's understandable what I mean. Let's put this oblivion here. It won't affect anything. I'm keeping the vampirism. Uh, give me a second here. I want to block some things. Let's play this. Let's play this. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let's go on. The good thing is that the the bookeries, if they do not use, uh, if they do not change cards, then they do not get reduced. The number of them at the top does not get reduced. Let's continue. I will not place the village. I care more about suburbs than villages. Sometimes I feel, yeah, I, nothing, 
I didn't say anything. One prism 18, might as well. Let's continue with those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is okay. The next one I have to be careful about. Okay, let's fight the next boss at loop seven. I was hoping for a more weird run, but it seems like this is pretty tame. This will also be able. Uh, let's let's start placing down these wherever. I'm not gonna play this village. Okay, this is Bokri spot. I think so many bookers at the same place is actually not really smart. Because, uh, yeah, let's place this. One, two, three, four. I think I don't need to place these anymore. You know what? Let's spread them out. I want to have three villages here and then like three bookeries at the top of them. So let's place this here. Where is this? Trash it. That would be smarter, actually. Could you stop? Two arms. Let's get some more vampirism. Let's get some more nothing here. The reason I picked the warrior is because his damage scaled. Because I was expecting us to fight Omega at loop 50 or 60 or something. But in the end, it seems like playing only suburbs and the other stuff is enough. So yeah, in the end we did actually return. I, I was thinking that it would be different in Act 4 than we did it at the demo in Act 1. But in the end, I was wrong. So it's pretty much the same. Although the fights take a bit longer. Because I don't have supply items that provide damage. Which is okay, of course. Uh, I think the next run... Uh, will be the last run with supply items topped. After that, I'm thinking about trying some things without supply items. Or some kind of challenges. Failure again. Yep, I know. So, let's continue with our suburbs. The village, let it burn. I care more about those. Let's go on. I got an oblivion. Very nice. Let's loot. Oh, I can keep it. Nice. Let's hope I get the village now. The lighting animation is cool. I really like it. Seems awesome to me. Slimes is always really easy to beat. <clears throat> Let's get more damage here. Let's go on. I'm keeping the, the counter. Actually, let's get the base damage because we are a warrior and no damage stacks. Um, I guess let's go for the chains for the whole resource just because it will boost our HP faster. I guess. I will lose the oblivion. Can't do anything about that. Wait, 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 wait. There's no reason to waste the bookeries. I should use every single card I find. That I want, actually. Living no. Suburb. Very nice. So the only reason I this might uh, take a bit to happen is... It's because the slimes don't drop a lot of cards and sometimes I don't even get slimes to get to spawn. Like this loop. This loop has a very high chance to straight up be done. Yeah. Another slime here. And then the loop's over. <laughs> uh, another bookery. I think here it's a bookery for top time. Suburb. Herb. And we're done. Let's loop again. Okay, we got a chest. 
invasion attacks. We, now we got some enemies on the field. It felt that I, like I lost something. Another bookery for the top bookery row. As I said, the bookeries at the bottom are safe. So I don't mind not deleting them. I would like to get the crystal in this corner though. The suburbs are going over. Will I be fast enough with the suburbs? Whoa, whoa. You know what? Let's make a ring first. It's, I know it's suboptimal, but I want to make a ring before anything else. Got it. My eagle eye stopped the... Stopped at the right moment. I'm keeping the vampirism. I like vampirism. Let's get this ring. And now we have 104% vampirism. So we will always light... Oh, a chest with... Oh, a triple chest. Only a triple chest? Where's the quadruple chest? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was uh, that was crazy lucky. Uh, base damage is what I care about the most. I'm not sure this is important to tell you the truth. <laughs> to speak truthfully. The items I mean. We got another suburb. I'm trying to make the ring first, and then I will optimize it. The ring is more important than anything. Very nice. I can place this village because I got the oblivion here. Oh, it didn't spawn. Okay. Well, oblivion will be gone now. This is a... Uh, this bookery is useless. Let's just trash it. And let's rebuild it. Let's continue around. And let's place another bookery at the top. The triple bookery plan that we have. Let's continue. I don't even have enough cards for those bookeries to tick down. I'm keeping vampirism wherever I can. Let's, uh, let I want crystals to the left and the right as I said. I cannot place this village. Not without a. Uh, not without risking fighting bandits, which I do not want. The reason I want high vampirism is because if I because I do a lot of damage. I don't know why I was thinking about it so much. <laughs> not that cal not that hard, not that complicated. Suburb. Uh, the corner crystal can wait. Nice. I I do not want to waste these. I'm keeping the vampirism whenever possible. Defense doesn't really matter. Our max HP goes up by the loot we loot we get. I'm also gathering orb of unity with this thing. I will play every Oblivion of Find, because this is supposed to be a quasi-meme build, and with every Oblivion I play, I add a smidge more time into the run. I'm pretty sure I will get dropped at, Obliv at uh, Omega. If I go to Omega at loop like 30 or something, I will get one shot. Let's play the bookery where it was. Let's play this here so that I have it. And now I can... No, I still cannot play the village because I don't have this corner completed. That's a uh, chance to keep a card. Very nice. Did I not pick something good up? I don't know. Uh, the stun obviously I don't care about. I don't know why I said obviously. The stun is good, but 10%. It got nerfed too hard, in my opinion. 
Let's place this book here in the corner. Yeah, so I think now I can place another village down. I think I can. So these villages are safe. These villages are safe. Yeah, I can play another village. Okay, I made no mistake. <laughs> Imagine. Perfect. That's what I want. Region and vampirism. And attack speed might as well. Let's continue. This is going a lot faster than I thought. Because of the bookeries. When I tried this before, uh, I didn't have the bookeries and it took me like 20 hours to do. I, I did it in like loop 50. Uh, the reason you, I'm not, you, <laughs> yeah, the reason you don't see me, you, you didn't see the other run I tried this on is because it was like at times 20 speed or something. I wanted to see if this works. Maybe that was also a reason I, I went up to loop 50 or 60 because I let some loops just go by. <clears throat> the hunt begins. Uh, get him. Are you a woofer? Okay, this fight will take some time. With everybody healing up again and again. I'm pretty sure Omega will destroy me. This feels really reminiscent to the old times when... Uh, when I fought Omega at like loop 15 or something. Okay, you're down. Let's... It feels like it's the first time I hear the music up to this point. Just a waste of time. The new hunt is coming. I've already got your scent. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, game. Game, don't do this to me. Um, let's delete a broken bookery. And a bookery with a count of one. And let's continue. Let's play this. I don't really need any of this, but I think let's let's get some damage here rolling. I have even forgotten to equip weapons for a long time. Yeah, let's uh, let's get some damage rolling. I will keep the vampirism on the ring, so I can equip anything else. That I'm okay with 63 vampirism, and we have combined the cycle. Now it's time to build up the city, the towns, I mean, the towns. Yep, damage to all was a smart idea in my opinion. To go through a bit faster, let's start playing the side ones. Nice doubling. If I get an Oblivion to double like three times, then I think we are golden. Nope, I'm not playing this. I don't need the villages. Truthfully, I don't really need them. The only reason the villages exist is first to get some blue items and red items, and secondly to fight some elite slimes. Because if we are going to do in a slime run, we have to fight elite slimes. It's part of the course. Okay, I need some oblivions now. <laughs> Let's upgrade this. Let's continue. I'm thinking about loop 50, um, uh, loop 20 Omega. That's my prediction. 
I predict right now that I will fight Omega at loop 20. Mark my words. Loop 20 Omega. Maybe I should not have said that. <laughs> okay, if I if let's let's make this a uh, bet. If I if I fight Omega at loop 20 on the dot at exactly loop 20, so I will spawn him at loop 19. No, no, no. I will spawn him at loop 20 and fight him at loop 21. If that happens, then like the video. <laughs> That's the only thing I I ask you to do. <laughs> if it doesn't happen, Mm, should I risk a dislike? I don't know. I really would not like to get a dislike, but whatever you think. But if I do it, if I fight Omega at loop 20, uh, 20 the spawn, 21 the fight. If I spawn, Omega at loop 20 is the, the, the bet, quote unquote bet. Then, uh, yeah, like the video. Well, you obviously don't need to. <laughs> I'm I'm speaking with myself here, so <laughs> let's play the suburbs. Nice. Three elite slimes that have been nerfed by that item. By the zero milestone, which I never ever used. It's a uh, it's oh, I can see how much it does minus nine percent. Okay, got it. I didn't realize that I could see that. And this is minus 2%. Very nice. Um, it's a bit... I, it would be awesome if the Zero Milestone had some kind of animation on the road. Like make it, I guess, lighter here and darker there. That would be like awesome. I'm not playing this. Bookery. I don't have any place to place a, a safe bookery anymore. Yep, there are no safe bookeries right now. Oblivion, very nice. Let's uh, delete some trash bookeries like uh, this one. I'm still telling you, Omega spawn at loop 20. Easy. Easily happening. Nice, and I will be playing the Oblivions. If I spawn it there, if I spawn him earlier, or I, I will not spawn him earlier, okay? <laughs> Trust me, I will not spawn him earlier. <laughs> you should know why I will not spawn him earlier. If, if you don't know why I will not spawn him earlier, you will realize if the time comes. If, if it happens, you will know. <laughs> uh, let's get chance to counterattack on invasion. Might as well. Let's go on. The spawn is going to be loop 20 on the dot. I still don't... Oh, I have a safe bookery. Nice. Evasion instead of damage tool. No, thank you. I think we got this. Whoa, whoa. Well, if I do mistakes like this, we don't got this. Nice. Doubling. Nice doubling. Does anybody think that there is a chance that I will spawn him earlier than loop 20? Because if you think that, <laughs> uh, you don't know... <laughs> how this works <laughs> nice we got a strong weapon here let's uh, let's place this in oblivion another broken one like 
And this one in the corner. You are missing a key point if you think I will spawn him earlier. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? If if it No, I I will I will tell it after after I spawn him at loop 20. I will ask a question. I'm speaking here alone <laughs> as if uh, anybody is obliged to do what I say. Uh, forced, I mean. Obviously, nobody is. I think we are close to the part where, you know, he will not. Okay. Nice. And this is the part where I will show you why he will not get spawned at loop, at an earlier loop than loop 20. Whoops. Oh, an oblivion. <laughs> this is broken. Let's delete it. I got an oblivion again. Do we have anything to trash? Let's trash this one. Let's replay it. And loop twenty on the dot. I'm I don't know what you're talking about. If, if anybody has any complaint... <laughs> I do not know why there would be complaints though. <laughs> but I have to say, uh, okay, memes aside and jokes aside, I have to say that th it synchronized perfectly with the suburbs. Uh, the suburban completion of my area here. It, it, it timed out com exactly at the same time. I mean, I cannot play any suburbs. Okay, time to equip some weapons here. Um, I would like to have a bunch of Vamprism and Evasion. The more stats I have, the better. I mean different stats. Do I have counter at all? I think I'd not have counter at all. Yes, I do not have counter at all. Uh, magic damage though, do I have other than this? Yes, I have. Okay, now I should be good to go. Yeah, I should be good to go with so many stats. The reason I'm going for all these stats is because there is a very good chance that, you know, I lose. <laughs> Let's go. The reason I'm afraid to lose, uh, I'm afraid that I can lose, is because uh, if I lose my HP, he will one shot me. You are the one who no longer exists. Yeah, because I can be. Let's go. Fight at 21. Exactly as I predicted. First thing he does, deletes my weapon. The moment this goes black, I'm done. I will get one shot. No, not this one, not red, black. The problem is getting it black. If it's red, it's okay. Oh, oh, I just realized something. I didn't know. If you look at this, the, the stat he deletes just goes upward slowly. So the next stat, okay, and in, in three rolls, okay, prepare for the one shot. And two, one, two, and now. But now I'm getting one shot. Oop, I survived. Okay, this is a win. Does the same happen for the... I think the weapon, he he rotates the weapons as well. I thought it was random. Okay, this is also not random. So he's rotating everything. Wow, I don't know how I never realized this. I definitely don't know how I never realized. He is rotating this. Doesn't he say random? Uh, everything else, uh, 
Oh, it's not random. It's very fixed how he does it. Very nice. I just realized that. Um, so, yeah. In my test run of this, with uh, when I tested it at times 20 speed, <laughs> I fought him at loop 60 or something and he one-shot me. Because uh, when he rotated over to health, he just hit me for 5,000 or something like that. And I just got destroyed. But now... It was done. And I also did a loop at 20. <laughs> I spawned him at loop 20, so it happened. I know nothing to tell. Once again, <laughs> uh, I will not pick this up because it's the worst talent in the game. If you would like to know, prepare for a copy-paste of th about 20 to 30 lines <laughs> coming your way. So let's just pick this up and let this dust until they patch this and make it stronger. So what time have we on the video? We are at the 40 minute mark. Um, is there a reason to do a victory loop? At this point, I think it's, uh, you know, tradition. So let's uh, make the victory lap just for the fun of it. And um, then uh, I'm done. So let's just loop around just for, th for fun. It doesn't really matter. I want to see if I will have in my finishing. Let's also activate the victory lap icon here. And I would like to see if I will get an oblivion in my ending in my final hand. Let's uh, let's mix things up. Will I have an oblivion in my final hand, or not? You know what? You could actually pause the video right now and comment down below if you think I will have it. the the ruins an oblivion. Yeah, a ruins or an oblivion in my final hand. So the second we get here, there is a. There are some chances to mix things up here. Let's also have this in the mix. And yeah, let's go. Whenever I find a book... Okay, let's make this even more interesting. Whenever I find a bookery, I will place it down in corners. And yeah, comment if I will have a ruins or uh, or at least think it, I guess. Whatever, let's go. Ruins or an oblivion or nothing of those two or none of them. And I will play every single bookery I find. I see you oblivion. Okay, there's a high chance for an oblivion now. And if I get the bookery now, a lot can change. <laughs> Trying to make the victory lab a bit more <laughs> elaborate, I guess. Okay, we are hitting for a bunch here. They also have a lot of HP and damage. Okay, seems like Oblivion's winning. But nope, Oblivion's almost definitely lost because there are bookeries incoming. Everything's up for grabs. And off we go to the random village. And Oblivion team won. And the uh, temples team won also. <laughs> so I had both. I guess. Maybe somebody should have said both. A everybody's a winner. Uh, the people who said nothing, none of them were the losers, I guess. If, if, if anybody actually cared about this, <laughs> let's, uh, let's be done with this and retreat. Okay, as always, I'm sitting on the credits for half a second here. And that's the run, I guess. So tomorrow will be another one of these runs with a bunch of supply items. And the day after that, I think I should start cutting down on the supplies. Um, I'm not really sure how I should start start this. Maybe, uh, I guess, 30 supply or 40. I will find a random number there. I can even try for first a um, hundred supply run just to see the difference and then go down to 40, 50 or 20 or I can straight away go for the 30 run um, uh, I'm shooting the videos one or two days uh, before they get uploaded so there is a good chance that whatever you guys comment about what I should do tomorrow uh, most likely um, has already been decided but I will implement whatever you comment down below a day after that so yeah, the whatever you think is the best idea. I'm thinking about somewhere between uh, 20, uh, no, somewhere between 40 supply and 100, somewhere in that range. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. 
shout outs to my toppest of the toppest patreon supporter butter Wallax. and if you also would like to support me there will be links in the description or at the comment section otherwise come join the discord we speak over there for a lot of things if you like the video a like is appreciated it's pretty much the best thing i could get from you a simple like is enough to help me out and if you would like to i guess uh, get a what's it called a notification when i stream because at some point i will live stream i don't know when um yeah you know you have to subscribe to the channel to get that notification or you will learn through discord for it anyway that's it for today thanks for watching and see you guys around